Lead in water does pose uh, an acute human health risk that I think we should be doing a better job addressing. The higher levels of lead sample in many U.S. schools exceeds thresholds that would trigger products fines and recalls if found in toys by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. There's no evidence, none whatsoever, that elevated uh, lead in blood, lead poisoning from tap water, does not occur with fairly high frequency in some cities, and it just simply goes undetected or is covered up. We're sometimes missing the lead hazards by the way in which we sample, sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. And the public health agencies involved in this really do not understand this issue um, at all. And in fact, in some cases, they view it as a threat. Because there is, without a doubt, a hypocritical double standard that's being applied to lead in water versus these lead in toys. And one is being touted about, and it's in the press all the time because we can blame it on manufacturers in China, or we can blame some landlord. And here we are, lead in water is our responsibility, and we're doing nothing about it.